In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how Essential Test automatically generates start and close actions for the target application. I'll start by invoking a wizard that prompts for information about the target application. Essential Test has already captured the name and command line of the application. When this application is launched, a window displays to allow the user to select a data source. Other applications might display a login screen. I'll select the name of the pop-up from the drop-down. If my application requires the start in directory to be specified, I'll copy the path and paste it into the start in field. This application comes up quickly, but I'll give it a 20-second timeout. Essential Test won't waste any time waiting for the application to display. It will continue as soon as the window appears. When I click OK, the OnStart action is automatically generated. Notice the first action checks to see if the target application is running. If it is, the action returns. If it's not, it will start it. I'm going to add one more action to click on the OK button of the first dialog that appears. Now the start event is complete. By default, the on finish is empty, but since I want Essential Test to close any open windows at the conclusion of the test, I'll drag over the close active window. I'm going to add the name of my target application and the number of attempts that I want Essential Test to make in order to close all the target application windows. When I create a new test, I can choose which app state that I want my test to be based on. App states such as the one that I just created, ensure that each test starts and stops at a known state that we refer to as the base state. This is an important feature to prevent what we refer to as the domino effect when a failed test leaves the target application in a state where all subsequent tests would fail. 